Places, I would assume. Okay, so I have five moves, I guess. Um, let's see. Written by Octopus. I think those are right. No, wait. This is okay, that is right. Interesting fact, um, that oyster girl right there, um, with the blonde hair and the blue, bluish looking dress, is more reminiscent of the, like, Disney Alice in Wonderland than, uh, this Alice is. You know, sort of representative of that, I guess. Anyway. Squish, squish, squish. You're not an impresario, you're a killer! The mastermind of a criminal enterprise! This world is not so either or, Alice. And I've done your bidding. You did a few errands, got your hands dirty, big deal. The show distraculates the crowd, shame you'll miss it. You need to deal with these sailors. It's your time. Time? Time? The time has come to talk of ships and, uh, and, and vegetables and royalty and, uh, and whether pigs have wings and so on. Enough of that, walrus. You start wailing about there being too much sand on the beach, I'll have your blubber for breakfast. Shame on you, Carpenter. You made a promise. I had no choice. One can't always do as one would like. I'd have thought you'd know that by now. Traitor! So now we're in the... we're in a graveyard. So this is when you finally get to introduce them, even though we've already fought them several times. Oh no, this guy is different, isn't he? Oh. attack thing was is new. Gee, thanks, drowned sailor guy. Now I can go forth on my journey. What am I looking at? Okay, well, I can hear a. Well, oh, he's very sad faced. I think I can hear a snout nearby. Yep, I definitely can. 
Is that where I go to next? Oh no, that's what opened. Oh, there you are. Yay! Is that a, is that a fish that's an anchor? I think it is. <laughs> Funny. Hilarious. Oh, these catacombs. Look at look at them. They're they're just Pets of great. From our secret cells, Alice. You'll love it too. I'm sure Dinah was a confidant. Always about, wasn't she? I believe that's Wilson. He was one of the main doctors who treated her at the asylum. He wasn't a bad guy. Um, he was just pretty much unaware of a lot of the other things that were going on at the asylum. Like there were a couple of uh, a couple of uh, the nephews of Radcliffe, who was the owner of the asylum, and uh, they were basically, you know, the real world's world's version of Tweedledum Tweedledee. If you want to be, you know, more truthful about that stuff. I could cut that open too? Huh, okay. Oh, this is going the same way. Wide open spaces, don't like them. Oh, I'm getting a lot of teeth though. This is not going very well. does that glitch. And still doing that glitch. There we go. Finally, jeez. I don't know. Fulfill my pledge. I need my men. They may be hostile at first, but their true souls are trapped. You must release them. Do they want to be at peace? They do not know their own minds. What's true of the living is often true of the dead. Okay, it's kind of cool that your mouth isn't moving. Makes the museum kind of really creepy. So you're the captain. And you need your crew. Uh, that's my correct assumption of this. I guess that's where I'm trying to go. So I'll, and he'll open that door for me if I find his crew for him. If 
violet would be good by now. A violet would be pretty good. Okay, so I guess I have to go to that one. Sounds fun. Underwater graveyard, just... You're not gonna do a regular graveyard here in, in, in Wonderland. It's an underwater graveyard. That's what we're doing. Oh great, now I'm sealed inside. Why are there sharks? Get my bomb! Go get it. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. See how you like it then. Come on. Normally that's enough, but I guess that isn't enough for him. That sounded kind of bad. Wait, come back here. I'm a savior of a sort. Uh, okay. I don't like those sharks just flying around out there. They're kind of scary. Well, let me guess. I have to stay with the light, don't I? bad feeling. I don't know why. Because I think that something bad is going to happen. Because people are never in Wonderland. People are usually never this kind. Okay, so I think... Are you the captain? I don't know. One of you is. Skeleton seahorse, I just noticed that too. Oh hey, how's it going?
Okay, so the guy with the white beard is the captain. Okay. Go to him. Oh, darn it, I missed my tail. My chains. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Okay. Oh, hi there. Well, at least that was okay. Hey, ghost guy. How can a soul be so ignorant? I'm an answered prayer. Yeah, yeah. That's funny, Alice. You're an in insane... Oh, hello, seahorse of, of light. Let me just fall off this cliff here. Alright. <laughs> Okay, show me where I'm going next. Oh, down here. At least I got it. Okay, where's the seahorse at? Seahorse. Thanks for reuniting me with my shield. You are welcome, sir. Okay, now we got the final guy to face, and I'm not really Are looking forward to that. Yeah, like I said about before, these guys, um, okay. So yeah, the white guy, the white-haired guy is the captain, okay. Not white guy, white-haired guy. So, well, I was saying something, wasn't I? Yeah, I was saying how they know who she is, even though she basically doesn't really know who, who they are. They don't know who she is because this is a dream. It makes sense that they all know who she is. You know, it, this op world operates on dream logic. <laughs> 